They're Earth's mightiest heroes. Marvel's The Avengers have saved the planet from alien invasion, the Norse god of mischief, and now they face the angry robot killing machine Ultron. The Avengers combine amazing abilities with some pretty amazing science. Let's start with everyone's favorite smarty pants billionaire. No, not Elon Musk, but Tony Stark, better known as Iron Man after his original iron suit of armor. Because iron is heavy and dense, Stark's OG suit would have weighed around 150 pounds, which isn't exactly ideal when you're flying around. Stark says he later upgraded to a gold titanium alloy, but that would actually kind of make things worse. That suit would probably weigh around 350 pounds, which might work for the Hulk, but not for Tony Stark. Let's have Rachel explain. Stark's suit is probably made of a nickel titanium alloy called nitinol. It's strong but light and can be reformed after taking damage. There may also be some graphite reinforced with carbon fiber, which can take a lot of heat. Useful if Iron Man doesn't want to singe his feet using those rocket boots. The power source inside Stark's suit has changed over the years. The arc reactor that he designs is actually a miniature nuclear power plant. In Iron Man 2, the arc reactor depends on palladium. But we learn that the palladium is slowly poisoning him, so Stark does what any brilliant scientist does. He creates a new element. You've done that before, right? Stark uses his homemade particle accelerator to smash the nuclei of atoms together to make a whole new type of atom. It seems like movie magic, but that's actually pretty standard procedure for manufacturing new elements. Scientists have made 20 synthetic elements this way, so it's not unbelievable that Stark would have made new elements to power his suit. But that's enough about eccentric billionaires. Let's talk Captain America and Black Widow. According to the Marvel comics, both Black Widow and Captain America have peak human abilities. They're super strong, they have super quick reflexes, tons of stamina, and they age really slowly. They can also heal pretty quickly, but not as quickly as a certain other hairy Marvel hero. How might this super healing work, you may ask? Well, it probably has to do with the white blood cells. In normal healing, a type of white blood cell called a macrophage fights infections and oversees the repair process. Macrophages also send out chemical messengers called growth factors that help repair wounds. All these steps can take between two to five days in regular humans, but happen faster in Black Widow and Captain America. Their macrophages could be super productive, pumping out growth factors to heal wounds more quickly. Souped up white blood cells aren't the Cap's only defense. He also has that awesome shield. Captain Shield protects him from everything. Bullets, grenades, lasers, supervillain death rays, and so on. Most of that protection comes from good old steel. Steel is strong and rigid, allowing Captain to throw a shield and have it knock off multiple bad guys before it comes back to him. But there's more to the shield than just steel. Conventional steel has a lot of super properties, but it's not a great shock absorber. That's why the steel in the cap shield contains an imaginary mineral called vibranium. This material can absorb a near infinite amount of vibrational energy without getting too hot or melting. But where is all that energy going? Well, in the first Avengers movie, we see Thor's hammer strike the Captain Shield. The shock wave knocks them all to the ground, but the shield is just fine. When Thor's hammer hits the shield, you see a huge flash of blue light, implying that vibranium converts vibrational energy to light energy. Hey, after all, they couldn't put it in a movie if it wasn't true. So there you go, fearless viewers. Keep fighting the fight for science. And thanks to SciPop for helping us make this video happen. Be sure